YouTube? I'm back. Let's talk about male and female African cichlids and how to tell the difference. Stay tuned. Okay guys, let's get straight into it. How to tell the difference between male and female African cichlids. There is a lot of information out there on how to differentiate the two. We're going to get into three categories. Color, finish, and venting. Let's go. Okay guys, let's get straight into it. Here we're going to talk about finage. As you can see, the dorsal fin on this male is pointed. Also on this male, this male, and that male in the back. This is one of the signs that you can use to identify your fish. Typically, female will have rounded dorsal fins like this female here that slipped through the cracks. As you can see, the finish is rounded. Okay. Color. We all know that the males will display more color than the females. However, with Mbuna, the females display color as well. The only positive way to determine the sex of sexually mono monomorphic species is by examining the vent, which is commonly known in the fish hobby as venting your fish. What is the vent and where is it located? The vent is the opening between the anus and anal fin where the fish will excrete their eggs and or sperm. Egg spots is another way of identifying male African cichlids. However, be careful when using egg spots as a means of differentiating male from female because some species of fish, both the male and female, have egg spots. So the best way of differentiating your fish would be venting, guys. Venting is the one true way of identifying male from female. You cannot go wrong with venting. Okay, guys, that's my time. Remember, the opinion that you follow should be your own. Simply take this video as a second opinion from a complete stranger online. And as always, until the next one, I L G P. I'm on to the next one. I'm on to the next.